Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Luckily, Timothy is going testing with the Bugattis at um, Anglesey. Anglesey. And um, luckily, they've hired a cars to take their cars. And he said, if you want to, if you want to um, come with us, you can. So one of his customers is obviously the main person, but we're going to be able to run around. And as you know, Tim, uh, Tom's going to drive the whole of Scott. So I just did a clutch test on it, and you can see the black lines are on the drive. So I've been turned into a real racing car, completely taking it all to pieces, gone through it all, and as I say, put it on methanol, and apparently it's flying, but we'll see. Because they're very often they're flying until you get to a circuit, but we'll see. Something in there we just got, to some. Ah, don't worry. We got some I, new ones. Last time I went out and I didn't even bother to put one in. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather my steering stays on. Yes. There you are. Job done. So the steering's in drift mode? It's in drift mode, yeah. Because when you have to get it on opposite lock, Obviously, further down, it's high gear, so you don't have to turn the steering wheel so far. Oh, OK. So I'd be interested to see how Tom gets on. Right, this is Tom driving out on the second session. It had dried out a little bit. It wasn't actually raining, but the circuit was still very wet and it had streams of water running across the circuit. Now, you've got to remember that we are sort of guests here. So John is, Tom is really looking out for, you know, the people flying by in their very serious cars. But, um, I only really know anything about Tom by following him driving his Bentley and I always thought, well this boy can drive, so I'm, you know, I mean you let somebody loose in your car, you've got to be pretty confident in him and I was confident, but I tell you what, now I've seen this film I'm even more confident. Watch it with that 
front banana skin of a wheel driving around in the pouring rain in a car with a free diff. The back is coming out all the time because it's got, although it hasn't got a lot of horsepower, it's got a lot of torque, 10 litres. So you just watch how he gets the apexes. Every now and again he gets it a little bit sideways, but he gathers it up and he's searching for the apex with the front wheel. Now he's coming up the hill now, this is really sharp, right? You can't see the corner, you break. Now look, he's searching for the, he's, and he's got it, look, and he's got it a bit sideways and he's corrected it. And off he goes, right? So now we're, oh, a bit sideways again. So now the tyres are probably cold, so you'll probably see that it'll get, it'll get faster with less opposite lock, but that was the first bit there. So let's watch and just see how good he is. So he's going, we can't see anything there really because you can't see the apex, but this is obviously the fast bit of the circuit. See the water streaming across the circuit, right? Now watch that front wheel. He's, he don't turn in too early, turns in nice and late, and he catches the apex. Now, I've just noticed that there are a few cones there, and I think those cones are to help people to get the apex who don't know what they're doing. Now, whether John, Tom had ever worked that out, I don't think he has. I think he's just doing it with natural ability. But watch that front wheel, it's a joke, really, because, but it doesn't understeer. You notice, even with them skinny tires, it's not understeering. It's going into the corner lovely, He's starting to boot it, he's got it on opposite lock, look, he's searching, that's it, and he's kept it on the, he's kept it on the black stuff. Right, so we're now going down quite a long straight. So this, I don't know how fast it's going, probably doing 80 miles an hour. I can't see the rev counter exactly, but it looks well round. Right, so now here, now watch this front wheel. Into the corner, nice and late. Look, catching the apex, looking for the apex. <laughs> look, look, that's lovely. And a bit of opposite lock, and away we go. So we're now going down the straight past the pits. This next corner is one of the fastest corners on the circuit. So a dab of the brakes, looking for the apex. Look, look at the front wheel. Lovely. Perfect. I'm very happy with that. Now we're going to the other, other way, which is obviously going right. A couple of times he gets it really crossed up, but he's quick enough to get it back. Now yeah, well that that was really, look, look at that, and he's got it back lovely, and he's off down the straight. He's looked over his shoulder, he's got, a, he can look over his shoulder like a, an owl, which I can't do. So we're going really well again, look. Long straight, now this is where we go up the hill, I believe. Yeah, I think it is. This is a very fast corner, this, you're flat out. Look at the water streaming across the track. Right, we're going up the hill. Now, you can't see this corner. It's over the brow of the hill, and it turns sharp left. So it's, it ain't easy. There we go, dab of the brakes. Probably changes down. Notice with no gearbox crunching, with that lovely, oh, look, he's searching. There we go, look, that was perfect. Bit of opposite lock. Lines him up for the other corner. Going well. Going well. Bit of opposite lock. Well, really opposite lock. Oh, look, he's fighting it. But he's got it back beautifully. No, no on the mud, nothing. I'm very pleased with this boy. I'm very pleased with him. I think this is a knockout. I'd not see old, old, see old Hamilton trying to do this. I really would. I'd love to see him. It would be good fun. If he's listening, get down here and we'll let you have a go. It shows how good you are. Look at that. that look at that tyre at the front. I mean, what's he got on the road? Two inches, I think? Probably might be two and a half inches on the road. Looks over his shoulder again, making sure he ain't in anybody's way. This is his fast bit of the circuit. No, I'm really knocked out with this. Look, water streaming across the road. We're gonna we're gonna put something on the seat so that he's got something to press against. Because a lot of the time here, if you watch him, he's holding on to the steering wheel. You don't really want to be holding on to the steering wheel. You want to be sitting comfortably and not having to hold yourself on the steering wheel, which I think he's doing to a certain extent. Again, look, lovely. Gets on the apex. Look. Perfect. I mean, when you've got tyres that wide, you can't exactly throw it towards the... 
apex, you've got to be near the apex before you even get anywhere near it. Look at that, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the, look at the wheel, that's sliding beautiful. Over his shoulder, make sure he's not getting in any way because he's going to use all the track. And here we go again. Water across, streaming across the track. Oh, that front wheel's a dream, isn't it? Oh, look at that, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Nowhere near the yellow markers on there. Because <coughs> you've got to remember that if you bounce this car over the curb <coughs> in the pouring, well, it's not pouring rain, but wet, it ain't got any suspension. That won't just go over the bumps like they ain't there. It will fry it all over the shop. So it's essential that he keeps it on the black bit, not bumping it over the curbs. And I'm absolutely knocked out here. Look, I mean, you know, if you're going to trust your car to somebody, it ain't a bad thing when you can look at a video and be really pleased at what he's doing. And I tell you, I did one lap and that was enough for me. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered with this because it was raining and all. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, and he's got it back. And again, look at the rain streaming across the track. I mean, I, I get bored with this. I, I think, oh, I can't keep driving around in the rain. But he's doing it, you know, he's getting used to it. But if it rains at Goodwood, you know, at least he'll have a feel of the car. He said it's very good. He said, although, you know, it slides a bit, it never feels like it's going to really get away from you. So, I mean, you know, when someone says that to you, you know that they know what they're talking about because they've got it to that point. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I suppose that front wheel must be doing something, but it don't look like it's doing a lot. I think this is a knockout. I'll tell you what, I'd love to hear your comments on whether I'm kidding myself, but I think this bloke can do it. And of course he's young and he's strong. He was doing this all day, he went round for two hours. And I really wish we had some stuff in the drive because he actually even looked like he was going fast. But anyway, I think this was good enough because in the pouring, it, well, it wasn't pouring with rain. It was pouring with rain earlier on, but it wasn't here. But you can see how wet it is. But that front wheel's doing all the work. I mean, it's so good. I just love this. Look, look, look. Looking for the apex. Look. <laughs> I think that's a knockout, absolute knockout. I think this boy's going to do well at Goodwood and I'm going to work on that car and I'm going to get it as good as I can possibly get it, I can tell you. Look at that, oh, it's beautiful. But they won't let you have a camera on your car at Goodwood, so unfortunately, but then again, you'll be able to see them on the telly because they always put it on the telly, don't they? Oh, I think that's really good. Ever so good. Well, there are, folks. I think I was right letting this boy have a go. Never went off once, never completely lost it, got it a bit sideways, never lost enthusiasm, come back in, couldn't wait to go back out again. So I think it's a knockout.
drying out, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite funny. You're driving around and like, I can smell it. I'm getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd say so. It had broken glass, and I was in my local pub, and some bloke said, oh, I'm in a glass trade yourself, you get a mirror made for that, and you got me two guns, just like that. Just, you know, having that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's a pure <laughs> effect. Yeah, yeah. Like a whole car's like that. That fat, mate. That fat no, you don't know. No. And it's it's been effective ever since. Oh, it's good. The fan looks like a charm. It's Amazing. the best fan in the world. This is the most beautiful place I've been to for years. This is like going back to the fifties. What a lovely, relaxed, proper motor racing venue. I love it. Shining. We're going to get some more fuel. We learned a lot. We're going to have to wedge him in the seat better, which we'll do by putting a bit in the middle of the seat. And did any bits fall off? A lot of bits have fallen off, yeah. So there's a few <laughs> screws. And, and um, a man found a load of stuff on the track, and it was that um, spongy stuff that they put flowers in that I put in the under tray to soak the oil up. And it came out because it looked like bricks. Well, because it's not bricks, it's nothing. And he brought it round and showed it to me. I don't think he realised what it was. But yeah, that's the stuff. I think you call it Oasis. It's for flower arranging. Yeah, it's Oasis. Yeah, I put it in there to soak the oil up. I didn't think it'd fall out, but I'll screw it down in the future because you know we don't want the oil on the track really. Right, so we went testing with old Tom and he drove the car to death, which was really good. So all the little bits that fall off and break. He has found them prior to going to Goodwood because we don't want any aggravation there. First thing we notice, I've been going on about dye springs and how wonderful they are and everything. And as it happens, we have dye springs underneath the radiator mountain. Well, of course, it's a lovely mountain and it's a lovely radiator. It's a star engineer and always do a fabulous job. But what we did was to make it look rather nice, we countersunk the bolts, which I'm very pleased we did, because this one, this side, was completely snapped off. Literally, you can see the bit in there, it's gone bump like that and pulled it off. So I'd rather it do that than damage the radiator. So that's the first thing we noticed. So then, He's going round and going round, you'll see the video, it's ever so good. And, and he was really good, he just, he just drove it and drove it, which is really good. Because I went round for one lap and that was enough for me, because it was pouring with rain, it was sliding all over the place. I didn't fancy that at all. So, so that's definitely the first thing we noticed. And then, luckily, right at the end of the day, and it, and it was lovely and dry, and he was absolutely flying when it was dry, but unfortunately the camera thingy broke. I don't know how she managed it, but you know what these women are. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the camera broke, the GoPro mounting there. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we'll fix that. Yeah. Well, there you are. So, you'd... so anyway, so right, so Cobb was going round in the dry, and he was really going, and he was looking really good. Anyway, the last, right at the end, he came in, at the end of the day, really, and I said, right, that's it, we don't want to go out anymore. And I looked at the side of the car, and it was smothered in oil. Anyway, it was smothered in oil, so I lifted up the bonnet, and what it is, this goes on there, like that, and this goes on there, like that. Well, what happened was, when we altered this, when I told you about running the oil out the front, and then we went along and put it out the back. 
This was in the way. So we made up one where the, where the water pipe went through there and up to there and welded that onto there. Well, it isn't very thick. You know, and I mean, that's quite heavy. And obviously that continual vibration for two hours, that had fallen off and the car was smothered in oil. Luckily, old Tom came in. He didn't come in because of that, but it, it was just luck, really. Anyway, I checked the oil in the tank, and although that looks like it's got a gallon all over it, it's probably got a pint when it comes to it, but anyway, it wasn't low in oil, so that was good. So I think what we're gonna do now, when we put that back together, we're gonna put a strip round it. Yes, oh, and that fell out. Remember I went on about my magic O-rings, keeping them in while well, it kept freeing, but one of them fell out. So I'll have to make one of them. Um, and that's it, really. I can't think of anything else. Can you, Susie? What, fell off? Yes. Um, on the bonnet, there was a, a catch on the bonnet, on the inside of the bonnet, a rivet. Oh, yeah, a bolt on the bonnet, yeah. Yeah, there was a where the where the strengthening thing goes on. There was a little bolt, and that had fallen out. So I can place that. It's easy. And, and it was quite funny, really. On the radiator, Tom said, "Oh, will it be all right? Can I go out?" I said, "Oh, don't worry about that. It's still got one bolt on it. Didn't give any trouble." So we fixed that. Well, unfortunately, at Goodwood, they don't allow you to have cameras on the car, so we can't have a camera on there. Unless we can get a really little camera and we'll be a bit sneaky and hide it. <laughs> It'd be good to have a, a camera on your car at Goodwood and they don't even know. Stop it. Susie's saying I mustn't do that, but I think it'll be good.